when a new cardiac cycle begins, there are no new electrical events, all four chambers are in diastole, and all four valves are closed. Now, although all valves are closed, the AV valves open shortly after the T wave of the previous cardiac cycle because the pressure of the blood that has accumulated in the atria is greater than the pressure in the ventricles, which are now in diastole and have emptied themselves. When the AV valves open, the ventricles begin to fill as blood rushes from the atria into the ventricles. This ventricular filling is passive in that the atrial cardiac muscle is not contracting yet and it occurs very rapidly at first and then slows. During this time, the SA node fires as the first electrical event in a new cardiac cycle. From the SA node, electrical impulses travel throughout the atria and the atrial cardiac muscle depolarizes and this is picked up during an ECG as the P wave. The P wave represents atrial depolarization. Atrial systole does not immediately begin because the depolarization must go over the sarcolemma through T tubules, uh, release calcium from uh, the SR, etc. And so the atrial systole begins part way through the P wave. And because of the plateau of cardiac muscle, will last until part way through the QRS complex. During the second half of the PQ interval, then, the atria are in systole. The AV valves are open and the ventricles are filling as the last of the atrial blood is entering the ventricles. This will end in the QRS complex when the atria repolarize and the muscle stops contracting. The ventricles are not yet active because the narrow fibers at the AV node have delayed the message of a new cardiac cycle getting to the ventricles. Towards the end of the PQ interval, the autorhythmic fibers will transfer the impulse for a new cardiac cycle from the AV node through the AV bundle to the right and left bundle branches to the Purkinje fibers and thus the cardiac muscle in the ventricles can now depolarize.